We have been robbed. You have been robbed of the cinematic masterpiece. Hello Shmalo movie fans, I'm Nico Shmiko and welcome to Matt, or Movies According to Trailers, a series where we look at all the differences between trailers and their movies. Today we're going to be looking at Avengers Infinity War. Infinity War has about 150 trailer clips and will show every trailer clip that doesn't make it into the movie and deduct one point. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see the final math score and see how accurate Infinity War trailers are. Also, spoiler warning. Kicking it off with this beautiful shot of what I assume to be a moon of Titan. We do get this shot, but with a barreling donut hole crashing toward the camera as Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange land on Titan. That they never could. This shot of Hulk and Hulkbuster's hand never makes the movie, and neither does a shot of Black Widow. Minus two points. Beautiful B-roll that never makes the cut. You will know what it's like to lose. Tony never looks back at it. And Thanos actually says, I know what it's like to lose. I know what it's like to lose. I won't take two points off though. Tony does take off his glasses during this fight, but only after he suits up. Destiny still arrives. Loki actually makes the Tesseract appear above his hand, but the trailer makes it look like he just pulls it from his utility belt or something. Thanos does teleport to Titan, but he doesn't take his time like this. Or just slightly smirk. I guess he's just trying to prevent more wrinkles than he already has. Never happens. These cheese wedge spaceships do land near Wakanda in the movie, but we never get the specific shot. These aliens were not harmed in the making of this movie, as those awesome punches never make the cut. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. What does one consider when balancing the universe? Barbie? Rainbow? A cookie? But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. This puts a frown on mine. Thanos never says this, never laughs like this, and we don't get this awesome shot at the end. <laughs> Minus five points. Trailer had to let us know that Bucky does not have infinite ammo, but the movie never shows him reloading, so I guess he does. Easily one of the coolest shots of the whole MCU, and we never get it. Minus five points again. My heart can't take this. Who the hell are you guys? The Guardians of the Galaxy, silly. But this isn't the shot we get. Here, there's Star-Lord, Rocket, Mantis, Gomorra, Groot, and Drex. I wonder what they're looking up at, because we never get this shot. Oh my goodness, there's a centipede on my ceiling. Ready? Nope. Let's go. Cool sequence we never get. Ah! Fourth wall break. No, 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 don't look at me. Uh, oh boy, I, I don't feel so good. Look. I wonder what they're looking at. We'll never know, the centipede's back! He can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Trailer magic makes it look like Tony is talking to Gamora here, but I don't think he ever does during the movie. Minus one point for trailer magic. Shirley actually holds a projection of the Mind Stone in her hand, not Vision's face. We never get the shot of them running up in the land speeders. The end is near. Indeed, Endgame is near, but you never say this. And we don't get any of these shots. We cut away once Stormbreaker is forged. Minus two points. Also, it looks like Thor is the Headless Horseman. Donna Hall actually has a better landing. It never breaks anything when it crashes into Titan. First off, Thanos already has his gauntlet in his left hand at the start of the movie. B, he breaks a tesseract in his right hand and then puts it into the gauntlet which is on said left hand. And three, Bucky doesn't have infinite ammo. Thanos never gets to go on and slam. Again with these gauntlet errors. At this point in the movie, Thanos has all of his stones in the gauntlet. But that's fair because they don't want any spoilies. 
Still minus one point. Spider-Man actually has his spider legs enabled when he hardcore parkours this. So there you have it. Infinity Door gets a map score of 112 out of 150, or 75%. <laughs> eh, that's satisfying. That means 75% of his trailers made it into the movie. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to like, subscribe to support the channel, and comment below what trailers you'd like to see next. Or buy me a coffee using the link in the description. And check out this video.